What's up guys today's video is actually really cool it's all about this eighth scale nitro buggy specifically the serpent cobra this is the rtr version it's the previous generation not the 2023 or 2022 model um, but it's still absolutely fantastic everything here is stock except a couple of you know carbon fiber stuff that i've installed and a lovely engine uh, swap that i did uh, this is the lrp.32 engine uh, which I decided to put in the buggy and the original one came with a beautiful uh, Novorossi engine so this is what came with the kit and honestly this performed really really lovely especially for a ready to run engine uh, because of the high compression it was a bit difficult you know to use the pull start but other than that this engine really did not need swapping at all but I wanted to go a little bit you know crazy I would say and I decided to go with this LRP the ZR.32, uh, the Spec4 engine, and it's just an absolute monster. And because of its size and displacement compared to the uh, 0.28, the 0.32 isn't really made for uh, a buggy such as this. It's actually made for something like this, which is the Truggy. Um, again, because of its massive size, this usually has more space than this. So this fits here great. and. Despite the engine looking kind of clean, I have beat the heck out of this engine. I've been bashing this engine. The reason why I have this out right now is because I want to put, uh, want to install this uh, Red's clutch. It's a great basher, but the quality on the Serpent buggies I really like. Uh, I think the only other buggy that's an RTR that I would probably go with, which I do have, but not the RTR. I have the race spec, the Kyosho MP9. The Kyosho MP9 is just a lovely race platform so with this again i'm not racing it so i'm just you know bashing and i say i think this is probably one of the best platforms for an eight scale buggy the durability i've rolled this thing so many times i have jumped this thing with such bad and irregular landing i should have broken this thing a long time ago but it still held up pretty well so yeah again not gonna talk too much just want to kind of show the cool size difference between the 0.32 and the 0.28 engine and yeah let me install the clutch real quick and let's go run the beast i just wanted to show you quickly how beautiful this clutch looks on this engine before i install it so now i'm gonna put the bell on top and install it and we should be good to go all right guys so here is the little monster so this thing has a truggy engine actually in it not a buggy engine and this thing really, really rips. We just recently rebuilt the clutch on it. So I'm excited to see how this thing performs now. Uh, it's 5.2cc uh, compared to its original 3.4cc. So this thing really packs a punch. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get it going.
So here we are back at the desk after a beautiful day of bashing and honestly I have run like four or five tanks of fuel on this thing and just went hard on it. I, I put it through one heck of a beating. I rolled it, I tumbled it and I took it apart right now to just have a look and I just noticed one thing. I noticed that uh, because the exhaust came loose a little bit um, the fuel tank was being overheated so it kind of touched it and started to melt the plastic uh, so I will be replacing this which is not a big deal other than that it's it's absolutely perfect and I will say this with regards to nitro 8 scale buggies the power to weight ratio is really spectacular I mean these things are so lightweight uh, and to have a nitro engine power it and make it you know fly the way it does it's it's really like a little little bug or mosquito it's just it's so good that you know you don't really feel that lag in a petrol engine or nitro engine that you usually do because they're just designed so well um, i definitely would rather drive my nitro models way more than my electrics again i will say that i love my electric models but for me the nitro model is way more fun and when I compare it to something like, you know, the fifth scale, obviously the weight matters with the little buggy. But for me still, of course, the fifth scale, like the Lozy 5B is still the king of the RC buggies. It's just they're really hard to find and get a hold of. So something like this, like an eight scale nitro buggy um, for people who want to get into the nitro RC world, I think... There are so many nice platforms, whether it's Kyosho, Serpent, or, you know, Associated, or whatever it is that you want to look at, um, you won't really be uh, disappointed. And, uh, you know, it's just a matter of opinion, which brand you want to go with, but uh, I think whichever one you decide, you'll be pretty happy. And I, I really can't stress this enough that people who... Um, love RC cars but have not experienced the drive of a 8 scale buggy um, are kind of missing out and I think especially if you love uh, off-road uh, these things will just you know put a smile on your face whether you drive it on the track or whether you bash it like me you'll always be um, enjoying it and and I think you know shout out to all the other RC nuts uh, other than myself because we kind of keep this hobby alive you know, if it wasn't for us, if it wasn't for people like you and me, uh, obviously you're here watching this video of me, you know, show you this RC car. So we are passionate about this. We love this stuff. And most of the people who love RC cars like me are actual car people. So, yeah, again, we we keep this uh, sport or this hobby alive. And yeah, I, I just I think, you know, um, when people ask me about eight scale buggies, I think uh, I always have good things to say and yes nitro needs maintenance and all that stuff but again if you take care of it it's not that bad and it's not that big of a deal I've had electric kits that run like absolute crap compared to nitro models and I've had nitro models that are not you know up to par it's it's all depending I think on the design of the of the kit and uh, you know the quality control and things like that so it all depends you can't say uh for sure and you can't generalize based on you know power plant and yeah here she is with the body shell back on um actually that's the only thing i didn't clean yet so it's a little bit dirty but not too bad um one thing i'll say about the body shell is that i really do like the older style body shell which is this one uh, it's more streamlined than the new one the new one is kind of squared off from the front i'm sure they do that for a reason whether it's more aerodynamic or it helps with the weight distribution but in in my opinion aesthetics wise this is the body shell that i really really love because they all start to look the same now the eight scale buggies with this squared off look and i cannot stress how powerful and how much fun this thing is with the lrp zr 32.32 engine uh, the novorossi was great on this thing don't get me wrong but uh, this truggy engine on this buggy, it's just power to weight ratio. Eight scale buggies are already crazy. Um, but with this point, you know, with this 5.2 cc 0.32 engine, it's insane. And especially when you get the engine with the pull start delete, it kind of helps with the compression and gives you that little bit extra RPM. 
uh, again, I'm not racing. This isn't, you, you know, this isn't really an engine for racing. It's a, more of a basher engine. Uh, for engines, for racing, you're going to go with a lower, smaller displacement, more high revving, something like Nova Rossi, but the race Nova Rossi engines or Pico. Pico engines are also fantastic. Uh, but me, like I said, I'm more of a basher than a racer. So this engine is perfect. And I love that bigger displacement because it just... On the push of a button, four wheels spinning, it just goes like crazy. And um, yeah, I mean, like as always, I let the video do the talking. I can tell you how fast it is, but just showing you is, is much better. And anyways, guys, that's it for the uh, Serpent Cobra. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and as always, I will see you next time. Ciao.